Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm diving deep into this electric pressure washer. In this video, I'll share my experience using this product and give my overall thoughts on its performance. Starting with the unboxing. It comes with several components that needed assembly. Most of these parts are crafted from plastic. What's interesting about this washer is its variety of nozzles. There's a zero degree nozzle that's ideal for hard surfaces as it provides a super high pressure jet perfect for dissolving stubborn grime. The 15 dig nozzle is your go-to for tougher surfaces, think concrete or brick. When you're dealing with softer surfaces like wooden decks or vinyl sidings, the 25 dig nozzle is your best bet. And for those delicate areas like windows or screens, the 40 dig nozzle, with its gentle touch, is the way to go. Now, for those who love a foamy wash for their cars, there's a special treat. The washer comes with a separate nozzle designed to connect to a detergent bottle. I gave it a spin later in the video. Another feature I quickly appreciated was the lengthy power cord. It's always a bonus not to be constantly wrestling with extension leads or trying to reposition to get the reach you need. The included instructions were pretty straightforward. Armed with Justin's screwdriver, it took me about 15 minutes to have everything in place and looking good. Once assembled, the washer offers several handy storage solutions. There's a place for everything, a hook for the foam tip, another to keep the power cable tidy, a spot to coil the hose, a holder for the spray gun, and even a nifty little compartment for any extras you might want to stash away. Starting it up is a breeze. Attach the pressure hose to both the washer and the gun, and you're halfway there. The hose connects to the washer with an effortless button push mechanism while the gun requires a traditional screw-on approach. From there, it's as simple as connecting to your water source, powering up, choosing your nozzle, and you're ready to roll. When I put it to the test on my patio, I must admit I was pretty impressed. While it claims to push out 3800 PSI, my gut feeling says it's more in the ballpark of 2000 PSI, but it still packs quite a punch. This power ensures it handles even the most tenacious grime swiftly and effectively. Its snow foam lance feature, which directly sprays dense foam, ensures that cleaning agents bypass the pump, prolonging its life and permitting the use of various chemicals, even the harsh ones. But the real test was the foam nozzle on my car. And let me tell you, it was a joy to watch that thick layer of foam settle, making the subsequent wash a breeze. Wrapping up, this electric pressure washer truly exceeded my expectations. It managed to refresh some of the most stubborn spots in my outdoor area, making them look brand new. The only minor hiccup was the setup, where the instructions could be clearer. But once you're past that initial stage, it's smooth sailing. Now I'll leave you with some shots I took, 